tonight we are reviewing and rating each and every HHN house. Hey, what's going on everybody? Ricky Nikki here. Hello! And we're gonna rate these houses on two factors, Nikki. Yes, scare factor and set design. Okay, what are we what what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's get the scares going. Oh yeah. Our first house of the night, our first house of the entire HHN season, Stranger Things 4. Here we go. All right, darling. I like Stranger Things. You love Stranger Things. I'm a super fan. No one better to speak on this house than you. Uh, rate it for the scares first. Okay, for the scares, I would give it a four. Okay, Stranger Things four. That's, that's give good. It four out of five. Not four. bad. Yeah. Um, they got me in some really good spots. It's great. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. But it's the first house of the season. And it's always the scariest whenever I go into the first house. That's always going to be like scary to me. So, True. Okay. Um, the set design. Set design. Okay, set design. I, because I'm a super fan, I loved it. Like, it's hard for me to judge. It better, it, like, it would be a better, I think, if you said what the set design was. Like, right. you gave that for. Um, okay. Because I, I would sway it to a five just because I love it. Oh, no, that's. That's, I want your point of view. You're the super fan. Are you saying it's a five? I do. I love I, it so much. Especially the Eddie and like Dustin moment. Oh, it was so good. And then the ending was great. So. Well, even I, as just like a regular fan, I would give it a five too. Okay. I love being inside of the Stranger Things world. It's just an awesome experience. So add them together. What do we have? A nine? A nine. A five and a four. That's nine. That's I can nine. do math. House number two, we're going inside of The Exorcist. The movie's not even out, but we're going inside of The Haunted House. The movie comes out, I think, October 6th, by the way. And now let's review and rate The Exorcist. Okay. We just got out of it. Yes. I want to, I want to give it a five for the scares because I walk behind you so I can see the scares. And they got you quite often in The Exorcist. Yes, it's like a kitchen scene. And I was literally doing like a shuffle around the kitchen scene and she was following me. It was insane. So, uh, yeah, like I was, that was the scariest freaking house. Like, I don't get scared, but I like watching you get scared. You got scared a lot in that one. I did, I did. For set design, I'm going to give it a three because the movie's not even out yet. So I don't know how to judge the set to the movie. Yeah, so I, let's just yeah. give it a three. I agree, 100%. I didn't know what I was looking at. I was just, this is the house that was scary. It looked awesome, it was good. I mean, all the sets are gonna be amazing, but right. let's give it a three. Okay. It totals to an eight. Okay. But uh, an eight. it's a good one and I wanna see the movie. And now it's time to renew my continuous battle with the Yeti. This one at Universal. And another battle with the Yeti completed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the victory on that one. Okay. I don't know why, I'm just gonna take it. All right. <laughs> just so that the all-time series is tied up. Oh, that's why, okay. I might be budging a little bit. Okay. Uh, for scares, I'm gonna give it a three. Me too. A good solid house. They got you several times. They did, they did, but not as much as other houses. Yeah, not as much as The Exorcist, for sure. Oh my God, that was but scary. But I did enjoy the set design more. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give the set design a four. Me too. Oh. I just like the feel, the, the vibe of it. Yeah, it's got a good vibe, exactly. I, I should have mentioned about the scares though. They had several different kinds. They, they had noise scares, air scares, oh, uh, some, funny, some funny scares. The, funny scares. Uh, the little, uh, I don't want to give out a, like a spoiler, but the outhouse scene. It was funny. It was funny. A funny scare. It was good. I laughed. Funny it was, scare. It was good. So what we got? That is that a seven total? That's a seven. Okay. Solid house though. It is solid. I think that house. Okay, getting out of the dueling dragon, choose thy fate house. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let you take the lead because the old dueling dragons roller coaster was your favorite ride at Islands of Adventure. It was it's so sad. It's gone. It's only appropriate you analyze, review, and rate the house based on that ride. All right, so I would give a scare factor probably a three. Okay. Okay, I didn't, I got some good scares. Cause you know, a three for HHN. That's solid, that's solid good. It's a good house, it does, it's yeah. not bad. That's not a put down. No, 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 it's not. By that's the baseline. Exactly. Every, everything's good. Everything's so good. baseline. Exactly. I, I would also give, I would agree with you. Okay. Give it a three. All right, and then I would give set design like a, a solid four. Okay, um, I was gonna go three, but I defer to you. But the thing is, is that I mean, because like you can choose like things. So you go yes. left or right, you know, on ice, 
a fighter. And there's a winner. There is. One side will win, one side will lose. So I chose actually, I think, the winning we, side. Yeah, we, we, we did. We I were did, the winner. Yeah, so we, because we didn't see what happens. Like, I guess there's something devastating that happens to the dragon or something on the, the losing side. The ending's a little different for whether you win or you lose. Right, exactly. And I think it varies. Like, it's not always right. one side. Yeah. It can just vary. So right now, we only know the winning side. And that was fire. <laughs> so. Fire! Well, there you go. It was good. It was, I was a good solid house. I really, really liked it. I'm really glad that they had that choice option. I thought it was perfect. Basing, you know, on I mean, somebody even mentioned this. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep no, no, no. but um, they should make a movie out of this. Like the storyline is so good make that they want to make a movie. Okay. So I was like, that's a cool idea. Now, let's, there you go. now like, we're kind of done with the New York area. Let's walk through it, give you some shots of the Scare Zone Vamp 69. Yeah. And I hear the Megans are getting ready to perform over there, kind of at the end of New York City and San Francisco. I totally want to see the Megans. I'm so excited. God, what is this? Is that ketchup on a hot dog? What are you doing? Wasn't that something? It was amazing. Oh my gosh. So perfect. I loved it. I love it too. It is a great like uh, addition to this year's Halloween Horror Nights. For sure. I, I absolutely loved it. it Me was too. Amazing. I want to see it again and again. Fabulous. Yeah. So good. A great idea to add them, I would say. Oh my goodness. Oh, the dances are amazing and they didn't break like character yeah. at all. It was so good. You guys should just rewind a little bit and rewatch it. I wish I could do it right now. Me too. I want to see it again we'll, right now. We'll try to catch it later, hopefully. In the dark, it'd be even creepier. Our next house we're going to go to, because of wait time, will be the darkest deal. To get to it, we need to walk through the Shipyard 32 Scare Zone. Here's a few highlights. Oh no! They've captured a magical creature! That's just not right. Or is she an evil creature? I can't tell. Magical or evil. Here's a dock worker in need of some assistance. What? What are you doing here? Get out of here! Run! Oh! Are they going to get that through customs? I don't see the worker here, but if I did see him, I would give him a hand. <laughs> oh, heck. Since we're in San Francisco, let's stop by Shea Alcatraz and get the zombie shark. It's a zombie shark in the water! Wait for me, you're on your way, stay tuned, I'm on 
know, guys, he likes to smell the brains because he's having you and you. And you too, Nikki, too. So this is the zombie shark, the specialty drink here for Halloween Horror Nights at Shea Alcatraz. If you go to the description box, I have a Rich Flix HHN survival kit. It has the exact recipe for this drink. Go check out that link. Here they are. I love seeing the Death Eaters walking around Diagon Alley, even climbing the stairs, checking for dark marks, and even a duel every now and then, performing spells and just actually just walking around very intimidatingly. Next up, another original house, The Darkest Deal. I'm going to give it, right now, hold on here, bear with me, a three for stairs and a three for set design. It's kind of your basic baseline HHN house, very good, but I'm going to up the stairs by one. I'm going to give it a four because I think Nikki got one of the best stairs she's ever had at Halloween Horror Night, she fell backwards into me. I had to catch her from, from hitting the ground. That's how how scared she got. I, yeah, I literally, I was nose to nose. I could feel their breath, like with a, what was it, a demon or something Some in type there? of haunt, and some demon. And literally, I just fell backwards straight into Rick's and God, he caught me, but literally, I like, scraped up my hand and, and literally, the, bit, the best scare I think I've ever had at any Halloween event. Yes. So for that reason, I'm going to up it. Now, you may not get that scale. So we'll go three, three for scares, three for set, but a bonus, a bonus point for the best scare Nikki has ever received. It was hilarious. And now, a Universal Creative Original House, Blood Moon Dark Offerings. Just getting out of the Original House, Blood Moon. Yes. Uh, let's rate it for scares. We go first. For scares. Five. A five. I got so many scares. Oh, it's so good. You did get a lot of scares, but it's hard for me to give a perfect score. I'm gonna go four. All right. I mean, literally, if I'm sidestepping and I'm hopping, then it's a good house. And I did that like several times. They so. got you. Yeah, it got me. Now to contradict myself, I'm gonna give it a perfect score for set. <laughs> yes, yeah, set design was amazing. The outside of the little village. You're walking through a village, and then you're walking through the pubs. And, and the bell tower, and then... Not too many spoilers. Okay, and then the smells, because there was a there's a barbecue smell. I'm gross, but barbecue smell. Well, often the original houses, the creative team, they're not hampered by anything. It's, they're just, it's just up to their imagination. Yeah, exactly, and sometimes... That's amazing. So <laughs> we're saying what you said. So basically a nine. Or did you give it? Did you give it a perfect score? Did you go five for five? Yeah, like that might okay. be my favorite so far. We'll call it nine and a half. Okay. And let's step into Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. All done with Chucky. What is it? Ultimate Kill Count. Yep. Um, scares, Nikki. Scares. Rate it. Uh, two. Let's go three. I think the biggest scare was what you did. I think I did. I pressed a button and then there was fog in the, and then uh, the, the fire scared me. place. Yeah, but that was my biggest scare. It's hard to judge because you're, you're scared at so much. I'll give it a three because I did, you know, I saw you get scared a few times and I enjoyed it a lot. So let's okay. give it a three. All right, set design. The set, I was like two or three. Yeah, it was okay. It, yeah. Yeah. There was some cool gross stuff, I mean. It, it was so funny. Uh, There's okay. a lot of blood. So you want to go two or two. three? Okay, two. Okay. Two for the like the set design, three for scares. Okay, I, I'll agree to that. Okay, cool. That's so a, that's a that's solid a five. five. Another original house, Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins. Branching oddities of our time. I'm going to say, I'm putting it this way. The second half of the house is better than the first half. So I'm giving the first half for as far as scares a three. Yeah. And the second half a four. Yes. And same thing for set design, three and four. So let's call it three and a half, three and a half, 
and add it up for a seven. Sounds good. For me, this scares, I didn't have a ton of scares, but the ones that I did have were big. super big. Exactly. So, yeah, I would agree with your numbers. There's your update on Octolos. A house for the rest of us. The last of us. Let me preface by saying it's based on the video game, not the TV show. Right. Now, the first half of the house, not a lot of scares. No, but I mean, the set design was pretty decent and the character actors representing those characters looked pretty darn low. But when it comes to scares, that right. was your least amount of scares in any house. Yes, I would say so. Okay. I had uh, one great one though. Yeah, so let's give it a three. Okay, sounds good. All right, and set design, I'm going to give it a three as well because, again, I'm not familiar with the video game as much as the TV show, but it was a large set. Yes, it was. And the clickers were really cool. They were. They were. Yeah, so. And there was a good one at the end where I think um, I got scared so well that even the attendant was laughing. Yeah, so. That was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. Like, literally, I was like, I can't move. I can't move. It's so close. I think fans of the video game are really going to like it, though. Probably. Pause for a classic HHN image, Mel's Dying. Uh, there's a lot of new food at Halloween Horror Nights, but we have to get a classic here in the Kid Zone Pizza Company, Pizza Fries. I should mention this is another thing that we have in the Rick's Flicks Survival Kit. We have a copycat recipe for pizza fries. So if you haven't checked out the Survival Kit yet, what are you waiting for? Get your pizza fries and that zombie shark drink. And the last house of the night, Universal Monsters Unmasked. And we're done with the last house of the night, Universal Monsters Unmasked. Uh, let's go with what, the scares? I'm gonna give it a three. Three yeah. hours. Hey, what's going on? Um, yeah, between a two and a three. I didn't get a whole lot of scares. Yeah. Um, but I, it could be like the uh, the other house where we just timing. bad timing, yeah, bad timing. Exactly, it could just be t a timing yeah, issue. So for let's us. give it a three. Okay. And I want to give it a three as well for set design. Now the entrance, when you first go in, a grand entrance. Yeah. But I felt like a lot of the a lot of it was just amazed, like we're walking through the hallways. Yeah, and I didn't realize that until you mentioned it. But I did enjoy the set in that one too. I I. So, I mean, I guess so, and now that you mentioned the, the hallways, yeah. I do, I can't get but that out of it, my head. But. It's solid at three for stairs and three for sets. Yeah, it's attraction. solid, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's our two cents. Your results may vary. Absolutely. But, you know, if you have better timing with the scare actors, you'd rate it higher for scares. So, a solid lineup of HHN houses this year, and I know it's not like house related, but can I say again? How much I love the Megans this year. That's a win. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Every house was super enjoyable. Yeah. The scare factor always depends on your run through. Gotta um, be lucky with the timing of the scares, yes. Exactly. And we actually have like a Google form that like after you come and you've done a bunch of houses, yeah. we want to know like your experience and then we can award the best house of the year. Yeah. The Google form, you can rate the same way we did yes. on scares and sets. That's right, exactly. So, go through the houses. Get done with your evening and click on the Google form and let us know how you liked everything. Exactly. Submit a picture and we we'll, might be able to use it in a future video yeah. and then share a fun story. Also, like uh, the houses tend to get better as we go through the season. Yes. Like this was only their second night of like doing real scares. So the scare actors get better as uh, the days go on. Oh, for sure. So anyway, I think that's all we have for tonight, so... Don't miss the magic, don't miss the scares. See you next time.